Hey, I'm the Catfong Gamer. Welcome back to War Hospital, episode 13. We had a major battle. We had a ton of patients. And following, we had an influx of patients from other parts of the front as well, in high numbers. We just about got things under control and dealt with in most areas, but not all areas. You can see in the surgery ward, we are down to the final half dozen patients and we're getting through it. And we have a rested doctor who's doing one operation and will be back in fairly good shape after a short rest. We're looking at four hours, 10 hours. So we're gonna be at one and a half doctors in the near future in the surgery ward, meaning we can handle a regular load. In the trauma ward, we're up to two, to two doctors. We've doubled our ability to get through things and there's just four patients that they are operating on. All of them are long, long surgeries though. So it is gonna take quite some time and they're gonna need a rest after. It's gonna take more than a day to get that cleared up, but we're down to the end of it at least. It's the chemical word that is, well, <laughs> it's a bit of a burden at the moment. Seven patients waiting to decide, three are already assigned, that's 10 for a single doctor who is already tired. We're gonna have to make some tough decisions probably on two or three of these patients, but we might be able to get another chemical ward surgeon in here sooner rather than later. That's gonna be one of our short-term objectives to see if we can't do that. Our other short-term objective after finishing our five hours on the current upgrade project will be to address housing so that we can get a new nurse who is wanting to join us, one of our VA, VIP patients. And then we're gonna be looking at either getting that second doctor for the advanced dressing, uh, or the second doctor for the chemical ward, or picking up a uh, upgrade at the advanced dressing station because we lost way too many patients last episode that might have been able to be saved, at least some of them. Trauma Doctor has leveled up. It's his first level up. Awesome. Uh, Operation Simplification is my favorite. We'll take that one again. We got a new patient coming in from the front. It's a regular surgery ward. This one's already well rested. Okay. Well, we'll positive event. Decreased risk of failure. We toot it out down to one. Another positive event moments later, shorter rehab and morale boost. Morale is at 96% after every major fight and those casualties start ticking up. Morale drops really fast. So it's nice that we've got that back up. In fact, now it should be perfect. 99, it is. We do have some fatigue to manage, uh, but we've got three and a half hours to go. Let's see another positive event. Morale's already all the way up, so shorter rehab it is. Without any, taking any losses, we've already had three more patients succeed so that number is climbing quickly rehab center let's go ahead and check that one out we've got a lot of patients ready to return to the trenches or having returned to the trenches recently but we're going to want to get additional probably let's say eight points worth and then we'll send a bunch to hq let's make it 10 back to the front with the rest going to hq And we have an event at the front with our tunnel. Work in the dark. Sir, some soldiers ask you to intervene on their behalf to Angus. He forces his miners to work long shifts in the dark far above acceptable work times. If this continues, the miners will surely suffer from stress and mental fatigue. You're in a tunnel. The dark does not matter. You don't want to shorten shifts. Uh, provide Angus with additional workers. Promise to send soldiers worth 15 combat power to the trenches in the next 18 hours. Uh, tunnel will be in a better shape. Oh, we've already assigned 10, so that's going to be easy enough to do. Oh, we already fit. We already had that much more than was necessary, so they just pulled it out of the trenches and sent them in there. So there you go, instant completion on that one. A lot of exhaustion, but we have these guys that are very tired. Uh, let's get there, let's get this one out of there. They're both resting for now. Uh, we're gonna have to swap out fairly soon. 
really use that additional nurse that they're wanting to send us. In the short term, all supplies are in good shape. Another positive event. Save two resources and shorten the operation a little bit. Risk was already fairly low. Let's go ahead and check in on new patients here. Surgery reward's fine, but we do have a new one at the trauma ward. This project should be an upgrade for that chemical ward, I believe. 11 hours to the next train. Gosh, that's a long time. I just arrived though. Freight is like, maxed out. Negative event. Decrease the risk, but longer operation. We'll have to go ahead and do that one. I'm not sure which operation it is that's being impacted. And we lost a patient during the operation. First casualty of the day. Surgery ward is clear, though each doctor is still resting. Trauma ward is still on those five patients. They're just such long, long, long surgeries. Chemical ward, we're down to the final patient. He's already tired though, but not exhausted. So there is a chance everybody's in good standing. We might be able to take on some of these low. One of our engineers has leveled up. We have construction time, less resources. Resources are suddenly no longer a problem. So I think decreased construction time is starting to matter a bit more. I'm gonna leave them on for a little bit longer so we can get two. There's 18 awaiting burial, uh, but then nothing happening at the ADS. So I suppose we'll take one to get a short rest. Sir, a dispatch from HQ. HQ dispatch. Grateful for your handling of the case of Christopher about his skills and services are of great value to the Bureau and we are glad he was able to return to work. I requested a reward to, to, to be delivered to your hospital for helping uh, with the work of the Bureau. And as I did suspect on this one, figured as it's somebody Bureau that we would have something related to staff. That's a plus four. That's a huge one. Ten uh, military contracts as well. The staff points are now at seven. And we're definitely going to be able to get that doctor uh, when this is finished. 37 hours though, we've got to get her taken care of, so we're going to have to boost our uh, staff lodging for nurses soon. Casualty clearing station, five waiting at the chemical ward, but four assigned, so it's down to nine. <sighs> Trauma ward, one, one more, one, 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 one. We did pull a bunch of points away from the front, so we're going to definitely send back to the front. That's eight. I wanted to send 10 back to the front because that's what we... Actually, I think we lost 15, so that's 10 back right away. We'll send just one to HQ for now. We did just get those bonus points. We're up over... And we helped fire Tuck, friend in the hood. So we, we just finished our depot mission. We are now back to 37 alcohol. That is another option that we could do yet again. We only have one truck, so I think oh, that's still going on. ETA is 10 hours there. Uh, one pending mission, rumors of doom. Scout teams learned of a recently abandoned farm that could be checked out. According to the rumors, residents of the farm fled the farm not long ago. Eight hour mission, positive event. Take away all fatigue from our doctor. This is trauma. Okay, trauma ward. Uh, I want to take away the fatigue. Well, no, the trauma ward's doing just fine. The trauma's not having an issue. And the risk is already low. Let's save the supplies. Three supplies. If it was chemical ward, we would go for the uh, fatigue side of it. But there's another one. Checking back in. 20 minutes till these guys get back to work. Uh, excellent. Chemical ward. Enhancement construction is complete. Now there's a follow-up one that I absolutely want to do, but there there are things that are going to have to happen first, like housing. And we'll be able to accept her in two hours, half an hour, or 30 hours to spare. Not a bad start today. Things have calmed down for a while, though we do have 
a pending an attack in about one day from now, about 24 hours from now. Uh, but so far we are 12 and 1 on the day. One negative event though is going to see morale fall. We're not going to waste chemical resources. Yeah, barely, barely took a hit. We're at 95%. Wild Rehab Center. A few more to choose from. We're going to send two points to the front. Definitely have things we want to address soon after this upgrade's done here in half an hour. Uh, one being ADS, one being that follow up uh, for the operating ward. I think we're going to try to do the operating ward once first because it's going to have an immediate impact. And there we go, that's done. We can accept the offer. And we have another new nurse on staff. Let's go ahead and deal with the assignments before we do anything else. Like this guy's close to collapsing. Go ahead. Oh, awaiting burial. Down to zero. We added a second group and suddenly you get everybody buried. Now, do we get a bonus? 115% bonus for adding a second nurse. Wow. So that follow-up. The hydrotherapy is that follow-up. Well, the decreased chances of operation complications by 25. Simplification increase by 25. And operation success increased by 25. It'll take them just two hours to complete that one. So that'll have an impact almost immediately. Well, we've got an event, folks. Okay, well, this might change things. <coughs> plague? Could it be plague? Sir, may I have a moment of your time? You may. Philip, what is on your mind, Head Doctor? It seems that some unknown disease has started to spread among civilians, and I am becoming more and more concerned about it. Till today, I considered it as nothing more than an inconvenience. However, today, one of the sick died because of the disease. This is concerning, I agree. Unfortunately, we do not have the means to help the civilians with diseases. That is what concerns me the most, sir. I fear that the disease could spread to the soldiers and patients, and we are not prepared to handle outbreaks. That is why I would like to delegate a few people to study the disease mm. and send the results to HQ. This should help us discover what we are against. Alright. Medic team leveled up. Let's start with that, and then we... Yeah, let's go ahead and take friendly. Alright. Here we go. Mysterious disease. Some sort of disease started to spread among civilians and refugees. Today's first fatal case worried head doctor Grissing. He wants to create a small team to study the disease in case it spreads to soldiers and patients of the hospital. Yes, we should do that. One physician and one nurse will be unavailable for 12 hours. Well, that's easy. Uh, but we can't do it until we have our physician available. Yes, okay, we did unlock a new one three points to get him brought in we have five so that's great uh we could get one more medic team and with the expansion we're planning to do that one more medic team will come in handy win we just couldn't pass up that free one more than anything else but uh, all the boosts that they give us to operation success and whatnot is all really handy morale's almost maxed we'll take the shorter rehab uh oh sir may i speak with you of course always on your mind the plague that broke out, sir, it is taking a heavy toll on the civilians. Yes, I am aware. Then, I would like to propose that we start admitting them for treatment. I understand that we are a military hospital, and that our priority are soldiers. Then you should understand that. Chance to but save it patients. It pains me to see them suffer so much, sir. I... Ah! Right in the middle. Okay, strange farm. Farm was a rather mundane site. A couple of unattended vegetable fields, tool shed, large barn, farmhouse in the middle. Nothing out of the ordinary. But the stench was alarming. The smell of rotten death was omnipresent, intensifying around the barn. A quick search revealed that the barn was full of farm animals, all of them dead and rotting. It seems this was done on purpose. 
considering that usually fleeing residents set their animals free. A further search of the house revealed nothing new. Empty rooms and closets, no clothes, personal items, or anything of value. If the scouts didn't know that the residents had fled, they would have assumed that the house had been looted. Uh, requisition what is left of the food. Ten food per soldier. So we're going to get like 30 food out of this. And she just ended her statement. Whatever the case was with that one, let's check it out on the clearing station. We do have one for the surgery ward. Let's go ahead and get our... He's no longer a rookie, but our B, B doctor trying to get him caught up a little bit. But I don't think... I'm not necessarily sure it's about experience. It's like how long you're here. We're up to a plus 90. We've had a really good start to our day. 15 saved. Uh, civilians will be treated. This does mean extra patience. Chance for extra survival. We're gonna do it. Thank you, sir. I will start admitting civilians at once. This is the integrity factor. Doing the right thing. This is a good job for me. Even though I was a scout in the army. This is a good job for me. Uh, I'm not qualified to be a doctor. But running a facility <laughs> that I can do. Yep. It's technically what I do for my actual job with owning a daycare and running it. I run a facility. Making the tough choices that help your community, make them stronger. That's what I'm capable of. Oh, nice. Good positive event. Doctor energy change off four star down to zero plus a morale boost. That is an excellent Sir, outcome on that one. May I inform Not you sure that which... I left a personal recommendation. That actually might be that one. Which recently really brought to the casualty deal. clearing station. And that chemical ward. Okay, surgery ward, VIP. That's where he's at. These other two are well rested. Sir, I ask you to reconsider. We do not need to schedule extensive surgery for him. We just need to keep him alive. Amputation would suffice, sir. I'd like to inform you that we managed to catch a German officer during the last, no wonder he's... <laughs> it's like, just cut it off. However, during his capture, he was severely injured as he could possess sensitive information that could be used by HQ. I ask you to only keep him alive. Surgery wards on hold for the moment. Nine patients awaiting support, but we have a new doctor inbound and we have one that will be back to us in just shy of 11 hours. We're also inside a day until the tunnel uh, will be complete. Uh, we're already in strong shape for our upcoming fight, which is just less than a day away. I would imagine it'll be about 8 or 9 in the morning tomorrow. Maybe 7 in the morning. Nah, it's gonna be earlier than that. Let's see. That's half a day. That's 12 hours. So that's 3. Yeah, it's about 5 a.m. Uh, we do have some additional patients all of a sudden. It's all chemical ward. Jeez. This guy's critical. Definitely denied. Oh, the new doctor is here, though. Wait, hold on, hold on. What do you have for me? Come back. Only three supplies. We can save them. And, and put them on to that next assignment. So that means we've we got that major percentage boost to our two other wards. That's going to be a huge help for us. Huge help. More new patients just brought in. Who are in the regular surgery ward? They're both stable. Difficult. Time consuming. And definitely not a great chance of survival here. Yeah, there was another or a couple more to the chemical ward. But right now, the advanced dressing station is clear. But I would like to get that upgrade done before that next battle. Four are resting, but it's going to be a short assignment. Just two hours once they are on the go. Will they go to it immediately? Looks like they will. Yeah, they're all headed that way. Uh, we did lose uh, Herbert Ashton during operation. Just our second death of the day. Looks like we have a medic team that has leveled up. Looks like we just had a couple more patients brought in once again to the casualty clearing station. Yes, we have. 
Okay, we've got a well-rested one. That seems the obvious choice. It's just a couple hours. I'll have to rest after that, though. And then it's all about this chemical ward. We're down to another one that is stable. So the new doctor can get three treated. We'll get that doctor back and then continue on with others. But the number is increasing, not decreasing. We did find an additional scout assignment here, unsettled by finding by the findings uh, on the abandoned farm. Scouts want to question people in the nearest village for our assignment. Okay, the ADS uh, enhancement is done. That's two extra medic slots. That means we can now send six medics for that next fight. And we definitely have the bodies to do something along those lines. CCS is so close to the operating that one can handle it. Figure out their next project, but short term, the plans that I had, that was all of them. The village people. <laughs> the village people, yay. Small village appeared to be empty. No villagers, no animals. This unsettled the commander even more than the barn at the farm. Search for the village revealed that there were multiple houses that appeared to have been left by the villagers. There were no clothes or personal items inside, only the chaotic aftermath of packing in a hurry and leaving the area. One of the houses, however, was shuttered and barricaded from the outside. Scouts dared not to enter, but bodies could be seen lying inside. Tempted to search that barricaded house, but if there's bodies laying inside and it's, well, it's barricaded from the outside, right? Not the inside, but is this the disease? Is this the disease that's going around? And would we be giving it to our scouts if we searched the barricaded house? Quick search revealed multiple tracks of people and two to three carts that left the village using a side road leading southeast. Investigation of the tracks showed that around 20 to 30 people left in a hurry. They seemed to have taken some livestock with them as the scouts found traces of feathers. New event. This one came up really fast. It's right at the end. There's 13 hours till this tunnel's supposed to be done. Fighting countermeasures. Tunnel is closing in on the enemy trenches, but Praven is sure that the Germans have anti-tunneling countermeasures. It would be wise to take a cautious approach, digging slower, but without so much risk of detection. But Angus prefers to take a quicker route to finish the tunnel as quickly as it is possible. Uh, countermeasures are an absolute like gem of a story from World War One. Tunnel workers will be safer if anything goes wrong. There will be slight decrease in the tunnel digging speed. It's almost done. It's like can't it can't uh, be much of an issue. Prepare a distraction and then dig as fast as you can. Um, no, I, I I think we'll go slightly slower. Nurse has leveled up. We want to trade out strict if possible. Morale slightly increases. Ah, negative event. Only option is longer rehabilitation. Clearing station just keeping up at 20, but it's all chemical ward, chemical ward, chemical ward. Surgeons are all resting now. Final operation for each of our trauma ward doctors. Okay, slowing down patient deterioration now that we have the uh, that next tier for the ADS. Decreasing deterioration speed by 10% at both stations. Uh, seems like a very logical... Uh, the tracks. Guided the scout team to a clearing in the woods where they found a refugee camp. About 30 people in makeshift tents. Refugees looked half-starved and scared. The scouts questioned the refugees. They were wary at first, but eventually revealed that they had left the village after an outbreak of a strange disease began there. They do not know what the disease was, just that all the ill had started acting aggressively after being infected, and some had even tried to bite others. <laughs> oh man. First we have a ramen of the hood, and now we have a zombie outbreak. Perfect. 
scared villagers decided to barricade the sick in, but the disease spread nonetheless. It was only after they had fled the village that there were no new cases. When questioned about the events just before the start of the outbreak, the village chief recalled only a strange man in an old-fashioned, wide-brimmed hat that had passed through the village just days before the outbreak. We're less than a week from the event. We're doing okay. We're going to take him to the hospital. Uh, the village chief is surprised at first, but quickly accepts the offer. Lost a patient during operation. 43 lost, third of the episode. Positive event. Yes, decrease cost. Oh man, I love that decrease cost. But I'm loving this whole let the doctor continue to operate and not suffer fatigue. We are hurting to get through operations, but man, that, that cost is uh, a big one. It's too big. Doctors to at HQ studied Dr. Grissom's findings. According to them, symptoms are consistent with the Spanish influenza, sir. Spanish flu. Lord have mercy. Wonder then the outbreak is ruined. inevitable. No zombies. According to HQ, similar cases were encountered on other parts of the front line up north. HQ sends recommendations on how to limit the spread of the disease. Are any of them affected? Some, sir. The best is to force the civilians to stay at home and interact with each other as rarely as possible. It will probably not prevent the outbreak, but it can help us contain it. Positive event, morale boost. 99%, but I need a lot longer rehab. All right, decision making, decision making. Influenza countermeasures. HQ's and Dr. Grissing's findings suggest that there, the disease outbreak among the hospital civilians is the Spanish flu. To prevent the rapid spread of the plague and overloading hospitals with sick, a set of recommendations was produced by HQ and Dr. Grissing. The most effective of them all seems to be to force civilians to remain at home and inter interact with other people as rarely as possible. This, however, will surely be met with discontent among civilians. Spanish flu? Half a billion people around the world came down with the Spanish flu. It was, ever, it was all over the place. Estimates have roughly 50 million dead. COVID was big for us. Spanish flu was the big one before that. Take away their freedoms. What a way of phrasing that. I think I've heard that before. Social distancing will 100% be introduced. Right. We already have new pop-ups. Uh, we have a current upgrade that'll be done in 20 minutes. We also have just roughly four hours till the next big fight comes and our casualty clearing station is overloaded. Notify HQ scout mission in the meantime. We got multiple things happening here. We're gonna have to slow the game down in a second. Convincing HQ about some sort of covert German operation took time, especially since HQ had much more pressing and visible threats before them, but scout, scout commander was relentless. Finally, after meeting with the fifth officer that day, the commander was able to show him his evidence and provide a report. Unimpressed and amused at first, the officer began to take the commander more and more seriously with each new piece of evidence. After the report was finished, the officer told the scouts that he intends to send a team from HQ to investigate the matter further. Uh, volunteer to investigate. We will get a wonderful reward. Uh, you betcha. Slow down, slow down. Okay, uh, we've got two follow-ups. This one, improving safety measures. Dr. Grissing believes that with the help of the small team, he could study the spread of the disease and come up with solutions to improve safety measures used by hospital, further limiting the spread of the plague. Send a team to help Grissing. One surgeon, one trauma specialist, and one engineer will be off for 16 hours with a major attack coming. Ha <laughs> uh, We're going to do it. For one, surgeons, we have. The trauma department, we are so used to there only being <laughs> the option to 
you know have what we have and this is different right so we're gonna take our one trauma our one surgeon the weak one uh, we're gonna take our new trauma specialist and one engineer who is already rested the engineer is fine like we will miss him badly shouldn't be so bad. That one's going to be very good. It's a civilian. Okay, hey, we're getting somewhere with that. Limited resources, like, that's a pretty doable situation. But speaking of situation, here we go. Sir, may we speak? Certainly, Doctor. What do you need? Reports about the disease from HQ came to hospital yesterday. I read through them, and I believe I found something interesting. We know that not all patients die of the sickness. After reading through the reports, I am sure that we could predict severity of the disease by the symptoms displayed by the patient. If that were to be true, this will be helpful in triaging the patient. Exactly, sir. I know there is a connection there, but there is too much work for me to do all by myself. I would request that you assign me a small team to help with my research. Okay, small team for research. We obviously can't spare another small team right now, though, with the attack coming. Shorter operation. This is good. And sure we have round boost for 94%. We will get to that after the fight. We'll get to that in about a day. Alright, uh, we just ran out though of alcohol, so we need to restock and boost the food rations. Supplies are okay otherwise. I don't think we need to do anything else. We'll just order those nine. Hopefully that train gets here soon. And we have center decisions to make. Some back to the front. The fight is pending in a very short while. Seven hours till the tun tunnel is done, but the attacks come in earlier. Uh, I think we need to retool what we have in preparation. It's time. Yeah, we need to rest those before the fight. That'll leave just one to swap out later. I don't think we need to do a research project right now. Focus on the task at hand. Once we're back in good hands and in good shape, then we'll deal with that. We have one resting nurse, but we have one the HQ. On reaching nearest HQ, Scout Commander notified the officers about the strange cases he and his team encountered in the abandoned farm and village. Scout's report worries the officers and they immediately order an investigation. They seem to be especially interested in the man in the wide-brimmed hat. They asked the scout team to take part in the investigation and check another village near the abandoned one to check if the outbreak is spreading. Uh, 10 military contracts as a reward. And that task was instant. Okay, we are two assignments. There's that Rumors of Doom, and then we have Escape from Paradise Scout Team investigates Operation uh, Forest Pitfall. Scouts attended to track down the convoys that burned the village. We're looking at half an hour, uh, 30 hours or 26 hours. Meanwhile, checking on the other one first to see what the difference is. And we are plus 100, folks, for Chapter 2. 144 saved, 44 dead. And we lost a good 30 of those 44 in the aftermath of our two big battles. And we're about to have the next big battle of this period. In fact, there's a pretty healthy break till you get to the next one. Uh, which 2 a.m. I figure the attack's coming at about 3, 3.30. And it might be coming any minute. So, uh, hold on. Pause, pause, pause. Let's... Get everybody, all hands on deck. We've got four. Nice and fresh. They're recovered already. 
to send the advanced dressing station. It's going to take them a little time to get there, and we're going to send an extra team there. So we're going to send six here and have just a single team managing the CCS for a little bit. Let's see if getting them out of the trenches faster and getting them to the CCS faster is going to help keep them alive. We've already added a 10% bonus to the uh, the deterioration rate at both stations. That's going to help them slow down how fast they are going to be dying. Meanwhile, Cemetery and these guys are all fresh. So medic teams, A plus for preparation. Nurses, yeah, not so much. Not so much. Uh, we definitely want to help the CCS. Rehab center is going to be on kind of a, a low state for a while, but let's go ahead and make that swap. More engineers means more that we can commit to projects and enhancements, which means we can get more staff in other places first. So uh, the next direction I want to head is boosting our engineers limit. Chemical ward reassignment. We've got a lot of quick one hour easy treatment ones. We're gonna get them treated and get them out of here. Uh, it's gonna boost our numbers. Should boost our numbers. Nurse has leveled up. We could exchange, no, dependable we don't wanna exchange. Uh, resilient works much better. Rehab center speeds up operations, oh yeah. Train supplies still have not come in, so we're actually not producing uh, trauma and chemical at the moment, but we'll leave them on assignment. The engineers are fine. Uh, I don't know how soon, two hours maybe, but I'm gonna freak. Got another nurse that leveled up. Absent-minded is the one we wanna get rid of. This is the only one that'll swap out with it, which is tires significantly slower when working solo. Uh, that's definitely... Okay, here we go. Oh, this is worrying. This is... This is our center. That was not the attack. That was not the attack. That was us treating the patients here. First one starting to be treated now. First civilian. Medic team has leveled up. Positive event. Decreased cost, we'll take it. Sir, a dispatch from HQ. HQ dispatch, I'm to inform you, HQ is grateful uh, for yours and Lieutenant Colonel Mick Fia Hogan's <laughs> present in the form of Major Eric Frundell. His interrogation should provide us with much useful information. As a token of gratitude, we decided to divert some additional resources from other facilities to your hospital. Two staff contracts, five military. Excellent. We're up to a 14, so we'll be able to bring in more soon. We also have an engineer that has leveled up. Room enhancement for engineers is done, which means we can take on additional engineers and we have 14 slots. Let's go ahead and do something Ready about your that. Weapons. Here comes the attack though. Uh, engineers, we can take on four more. Uh, and use eight staff contracts. Let's do it. Four more engineers. Oh man, that's a, that's a game changer right there. Approaching. Here we go. The attack, it's on. Of course, we should have it covered just fine. It's just a huge influx of casualties. We previously had two medic teams out there. Then we had four medic teams out there making very little difference. Now, we're gonna have six medic teams out there at that advanced dressing station to help us cover this off. chemical patients are going to be incoming
gonna pause. We instantly have 25 casualties in the trenches for our six teams to start covering off. We're plus 102. We're gonna be finishing this episode right here. Quick story for you before we do so. So addressing the casualties is gonna be the focus of our next episode. I served in the US Army. In basic training, I was first squad leader within my unit. First time that we went to the gas chamber, my squad with our drill sergeant, we marched into this enclosed small room at our gas chamber, small table, small like pedestal in the center of the room with a canister pin to pull at the center of it. And we get marched in there and we get circled around it. We had put on our pro masks outside. So our protection masks, right? Our gas masks. We put them on outside before we marched in. So we're all in our pro masks and we're all facing in looking at this canister and the drill sergeant's in there and he's got his on and he's talking to us. And when the time comes, pulls the pin, gas starts spraying everywhere. The room's filling up pretty quick with it. It's a pretty small room. It's got ventilation systems. I mean, like it's built for this, but it's not on. <laughs> Those ventilation systems are off. So the gas is going everywhere. And as squad leader, he says, well, when I point at you, you're going to lift your masks. And so he starts with me as squad leader. So I lift, I'm gasping instantly. It's my first experience with gas and it was it was pretty serious. Pretty serious stuff first time. You actually get used to it over multiple times. It gets better, but first time's the hardest by far. So anyway, I lift the mask. He told me to take in a breath like I was holding my breath at first and, and that's when it hit me. But then he points to the next guy and the next and the next goes around the circle he gets to the last guy he says now when i point at you this time you can put your mask down now this all happened relatively quick it was not that long of an experience i mean we're talking 10 15 seconds but he says when i point at you again you can put your mask down clear your masks so I teach you the importance of trying to clear your mask of course we're just gasping i mean it's terrible we're all in terrible shape at this point but he fake points to me and like nope 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 goes to the second guy points to them and goes all the way around before it gets back to me so i was not only the first but i was also the last very much the norm every time we went to the mess hall first in the door but last to sit down to eat uh every time so i was used to it but oh my goodness it made it that much harder that very first experience uh, and you look so nasty like all that crap coming out of you i'm the catalog gamer like comment subscribe and i'll see you next time have a good one be safe out there bye for now